Welcome to the car of the future, at least according to Samsung Display. Notice how many screens there are here and how uniquely shaped each one is. Let's start with this L-curved display. These are all OLED. This can help you navigate as needed, but is a much more unique design than perhaps anything you've ever seen inside of a vehicle. Then the passenger, of course, gets their entertainment here. This display rolls up and down, so it's not always sticking out and protruding. There's also an option where the display can only be viewed by the person sitting right in front of it. So if I'm driving, I can't get distracted by what's going on over here, which is probably a really good safety feature. So why would you want more displays in your car? Samsung Display says it's supposed to bring a more premium feel. Definitely feels very futuristic. This could be in a personally driven vehicle or an autonomous vehicle. It's really very flexible and it may or may not ever see the light of day, but it is cool to see a concept like this. Now it's not just us in the front that get to have all of these displays. In the back, there's also this display that folds up and down so that people have their entertainment. There's also these circle displays on the back of the seats. And then you'll also notice at the bottom of the car, something that can display any notices like, I'm a student driver, go easy on me. All screens all over. Now we can't talk about Samsung Display without talking about foldable phones. So over here we've got a current foldable phone. I asked if it was a Z Fold 7, could not confirm that. But current foldable phone, you'll notice there's a crease here, but the foldable phone of the future does not have a crease. It is lighter, brighter display, it's more durable, and it's just easier to see what's on the screen without that crease just kind of popping out at you. And we know that Apple is reportedly working with Samsung Display for a future foldable iPhone, so perhaps someday you will see something like this in a phone that you can actually purchase. I want to know what you think. Are you intrigued by these ideas? Do you think we'll ever see them in the real world? Let us know in the comments and be sure to hit like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.